Hi everyone, this is Lydia. Welcome to my channel where you don't have to be rich to be financially free. I just want to let everyone quickly know that from November 17th through December 25th, I am donating 25 cents to Save the Children Foundation America that supports childhood education in the US and around the world. Um, so 25 cents to them for every new subscriber to my channel between November 17th and December 25th. I will post the amount and screenshots of the donation on December 26th. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you learned something, please let me know in the comments. If you had any ideas, I'm also happy to hear that as well. Um, this isn't financial advice. This is us just looking at some charts together and seeing if there's anything we think might be a good investment. The highest high in the last 24 hours gain in the stock market was about 181% where if we return to the crypto screener and we looked at the top gainer in the crypto space, it's insane. Oh, but 11,775% increase in a day? What? So some of these things, it's like the barrier, one of the barriers to entry for me is I'm not going to use that exchange. Like it's just too much of a hassle for me to put my money in this strange little altcoin where I prefer to stick with crypto.com or Binance or PancakeSwap. I think I prefer to do it on the Binance smart chain. Um, low key gonna protest on Ethereum because those freaking gas fees are not community friendly. And I also sold all of my Ethereum to be you know, transparent. I am buying Solana. I'm focusing on buying at least one Solana a week, dollar cost averaging into that and thinking that it's, there's gonna be an Ethereum killer out there. Um, Ethereum might always exist, and I hope the people who invest in it are successful and that everybody in their investing ventures is successful. Um, this is just part of my personal bias. There's so many different ways we can look at potential buys. So you can see that all of these different ratings and oscillators will indicate um, whether something is a strong buy, a strong sell, just regular buy, neutral, and oscillators tends to give you a lot more buy sell signals going to overbought let's say you want to short something so if something is overbought it means it's on the height of its price and the greed index is high meaning that people will start to sell start to take some profits at this level and you can expect the price to go back down so if you want to make some money on the downside you can short a stock um, or crypto. Binance allows you to do that if you're in the US. Binance is the best exchange for shorting cryptos and being able to profit on both the upside and the downside of the chart momentum. And I think I'll have to do a whole separate video about this, but looking at how much you could buy with like a few hundred bucks or a thousand bucks today in the crypto space and still become a millionaire in a year. The early investors in the crypto space now will become the next billionaires where like CRO coin today, it's almost like buying Amazon before it was Amazon, not financial advice. <laughs> this is all for entertainment purposes only. It is my personal opinion. And let's stop staring at this screen and look at some new stuff. So these are the overbought things. And let's look at oversold, which is basically the opposite of overbought. Things that are oversold are reaching a bottom point where the value has hit probably a key resistance or a key, res excuse me, a key support level for that asset and it's going to go back up again. I actually have another meeting coming up pretty soon, so I gotta keep this short and hurry on up and see if there's anything I wanna put some money into today. Mm. My main focus are coins that I can buy on the exchanges that I currently am active on. Sushi Swap is a buy. Let's look at Sushi Swap. This shows like if you buy here, has a lot of room to grow. Let's go to the full chart. We're on the 15 minute time frame and let's bring it back out to four hours. So we can see that the trend is going to go upward towards the zero line. And it pretty much won't go. It's been down here for a while and it's starting to trend upward again, which is essentially a buy signal. We had this bearish cross over here and it's looking like maybe we can catch it on the way back up from this point forward before there's the next bullish cross, which will lead to even more gains. So whatever we bought before 
still has an opportunity to grow in the long term if we just hold. But now would be a good re-entry point for people who are trying to expand their holdings and potentially profit even more during the, the altcoin season, which still hasn't happened yet, and we know is bound to happen soon after Bitcoin has its rally and then the altcoins will shine. Let me know in the comments if you already hold SushiSwap. I already am a holder. This is not a financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. It is only my opinion. I forgot to go over the most oversold stocks in the market today, and that can give you an indication of where to buy. And this screenshot here is what's going on with the industry. It's looking like pharmaceuticals are the biggest buy right now that a lot of pharmaceutical holdings companies and even some energy companies but mostly things in the line of medical and health and even one shipping company and a mineral company are going to be a buy and this makes sense if you think about the recent supply chain and global political uh, crises in terms of covid and the pandemic we've had some maybe die down after the vaccines came out and things maybe started to go back to normal for some people, that people took profits. And now these companies are oversold and it's time to buy again. And the entry point for a lot of these is rather low. Um, I can see Aikido Pharma sounds Japanese. It's 24.28 and it's a buy. The strongest buys are Fathom Pharmaceuticals and Duck Creek Technologies, both around the price of between the range of $42 and $53. There is also Diana Shipping Inc. around $31.40 per share, as well as Athenex Inc. and PHX Minerals Inc. Let me repeat that. That's PHX Minerals Inc. It sounds like a mining company. In fact, let's check it out. We can see we're right at a strong resistance level. It might be the local resistance level and that there is a about almost a 50% increase to the next to the last all-time high if we were to continue in that direction again and it seems likely that it would repeat that pattern as we've had this happen at least 3 times in the past. I can count 1 2 three times that the price came to this resistance level and then went back up to at least three dollars and sixty cents um, close approaching on four dollars and exceeding four dollars and twenty cents one time so that's all i got for you today i gotta run to my next meeting folks thanksgiving is this week and also hanukkah starts on sunday mm -hmm.